Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, splash or melting effect using Photoshop CS6. Now the items you'll need if you want to follow along with uh, this tutorial. Um, if you want to pause the video and grab these items, you'll need a guitar with the background taken out. you also need a paint splash also with the background taken out. You'll need um, like a star field or something of your choice and I'm using a texture, a uh, stone looking type of texture. All right, so the first thing we do <clears throat> is we need to create uh, our canvas. And the way you do that is you go File and New, and it'll ask you for your image size. And the image size I'm using at the moment is 1920 by 1280. Once you have your canvas um, on, you're going to hide that layer by clicking this little eye icon and it'll make you a blank canvas for you. Once you've imported all of your images, um, you're going to click and hold it and drag it up into uh, your blank canvas and drop it in. Once we have that, we're going to resize this by clicking Control and T or Command and T on a Mac, I believe. And we're just going to resize this. We're going to reduce the size and um, here you see the arrows at the corner, and I'm going to hold the shift key, and this keeps the image proportional. And that looks about good about there. And I'm also going to rotate a little bit, and when you see the bendy arrow there, um, that allows you to click and hold and rotate this how you want to. I'm going to move it up, and I'll make it a little bit bigger here. And that looks pretty good. Now we're going to grab our paint splash, we're going to do the same thing. Put it into our canvas and drop it in. Control T and move it around. Now I'm just going to move this uh, kind of toward the center and I'm going to use a guitar strap holder as my center guide. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by holding shift and drag. And I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. Now I'm going to overlap the paint splash. Um, over the guitar just a little bit here. All right, now I'm going to rename these layers real quick and I'm going to name this paint. You don't have to do this, but you can. I'm going to name this guitar. All right, with the paint splash um, layer, you're going, I'm going to drop the opacity just a little bit here so you can see um, how much uh, distance we have um, of overlap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold. Um, uh, control T or click Control T rather so I can move it around well I'm not going to actually move it I'm going to uh, uh, make this paint splash um, to follow the curves of the guitar and how we're going to do that is we're going to right click and click on warp now you can grab these handles and warp this uh, paint splash around the curves of the, of the guitar so I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to grab these handles and just kind of smush it down to where I think is good. Same thing on the other side. And that looks pretty good. All right, now I'm going to bring the opacity back up here. Now what I need to do is I need to um, fade out this hard line that we have here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a layer mask on the paint. So with the paint selected, we're going to go down to our layer mask and click that one time. Make sure that your foreground color is black <clears throat> and we're going to use a very soft brush. And I'm going to have the hardness to zero. And now with your bracket keys you can increase or decrease the size of your tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right around the edge here. You don't have to be right on the edge. I'm just going to ferret out so that it takes that hard line away. And I'm just going to left click and hold and just kind of go in circles here and I'm just going to take that hard line away just like this just to get that hard line out of there that looks pretty good okay so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go let me take some of this out here there we go now we're going to click on our guitar layer and we're going to use our smudge tool here 
if you don't see the smudge tool, maybe blur or shape tool, right click on it and go down the smudge tool. We're going to use that. And um, I'm going to reduce the size of my brush here a little bit. And all you're going to do with the guitar layer selected, you're just going to smudge down into the paint here, into the paint splash. Just a little bit. Keep going, just click, click, click. And what we're doing is we're getting this effect right here. So once you've done that, we're going to go to our paint splash layer, not our layer mask. Don't click on the layer mask. Click on the um, paint layer here. And we're going to smudge that up into the guitar with our smudge tool. And we're just going to do that now. And what we're doing is we're trying to, we're going to, we're blending these two images together. So it's nice and even. And what you're going to do until you uh, have think you've achieved um, a nice blend. You're just going to keep going from the paint to the guitar, go back down from the guitar into the paint until you achieve a nice um, seamless looking line there. We're going to go back to the paint. We're almost done here. Go up into the guitar and maybe we'll go to the guitar one more time. Bring it down to the paint. That well, looks pretty good. So now that we have that taken care of, and it looks uh, pretty nice, pretty blended, we're going to go um, on top of our paint layer, and we're going to um, go to the Adjustment tool down here. We'll click on that, and click on Hue and Saturation. Now, Hue and Saturation, you're going to see that this layer, this layer is going to affect, this is actually going to change the color, <clears throat> and it's going to affect everything below it. But we don't want it to affect everything below it. We don't want to change the color of the guitar. We want it to match the color of the paint to the guitar. So in order to achieve that, they're right between this little line between these two layers, because we want it to just affect the paint, we're going to hold our Alt key down on our keyboard. And you'll see a little arrow appear here. Once you see that arrow appear, you want to left click one time. And what that does is that makes this the hue and saturation layer only affect the layer below it only. So with that chosen, we're going to click on this little uh, round tool. Well, it's already up here. So we're going to click on colorize because if you don't click on colorize, it's going to change. As you can see, it's changing the colors, but the colors are still multicolor. We want it all one solid color. So we're going to click on colorize, make sure that's checked, and it'll make it all one color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and match match the uh, paint splash with the guitar as best as we can. So let's bring this down a little bit. And it's looking better. How about right there? That looks pretty good to me. So now that we have the splash and the guitars color um, together, that's the hard part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our uh, layer tool here, which was white. And we're going to make a new layer right above it. And I'm going to put a gradient on there. So I'm going to go to my, my tools panel and click on the gradient tool. And we're going to have this gradient. That looks good to me. I'll just use that gradient here. And we're just going to drag up and get a nice gradient, what we think um, would be nice here. That looks pretty good. Now that we have our gradient tool selected, I mean our gradient um, <clears throat> on our canvas, excuse me. Now we're going to import our star field here. And we're just going to drop it in like we have before. And we're going to resize it. Actually, I'm going to put this uh, layer on top there. And we're going to resize it, Control T or Command T on a Mac. And just make it the same size as your canvas from all sides. Now, once we have that, we are going to, with this layer selected, we're going to click on nor, uh, where it says normal, we're going to click on overlay. And that's going to overlay and you'll be able to see everything uh, clearly. Now I'm going to drop the opacity just a bit to make it look nice. And we're going to work on the opacities uh, here in a minute. But now I'm going to click on my um, layers tool here. 
excuse me. And I'm going to get my my texture and I'm going to drag it in. And I'm going to drop it on the canvas. And I'm going to resize it. Right, let's just put this up here just so we can resize it properly. Control T. And we're going to resize just the size of the canvas here. There we go, looks good. We're also going to overlay that. Normal. We're going to click on overlay. Now this looks pretty cool as it is. We can drop the opacity. It gives a little texture to a bit of everything. But there's a lot of things you can do here. You can actually get this layer and put it right below, right above the gradient to make that background uh, stand out more. You can actually bring up the opacity on that background if you'd like. And this is where you just need to work on your opacities and uh, make sure everything looks good. But I think that looks pretty good. That opacity looks good. That opacity looks good. Now, another thing we can do to beef this up just a little bit, we'll go to our layers and we'll go to curves. And we'll bend this down just a little bit here to make it a little darker, not much. Brighten it up just a bit also. And then we'll go to levels. I always like to use curves and levels because they enhance um, the image just so much. <clears throat> and that looks pretty good. Now it looks like the the texture is just a bit overwhelming, so we're just going to bring that down just a little bit. And also we'll bring this down just a touch. Well, there you have it. Now you can uh, make that paint splash or that melting effect with a cool background and things of that nature. So I hope this video has helped you. Please like this video. Please subscribe and comment if you like. Thanks for watching.